Hi, my name is Steve Rood. Now this month I'm talking about my influences, and today I'm going to talk about Jack Kirby. One look at Kirby's work hooked me for life. No one was more exciting than he. My first Kirby remembrance was walking into the local stop and go in Madison, Wisconsin, where I grew up. The year was 1966, and there in the spinner rack was a comic book with Captain America falling from the sky. The boldness of the musculature and the way this artist drew things just left everyone else in the dust. Nothing was more exciting to this 10 year old, and now a 65 year old, than a comic book drawn by Jack Kirby. When I became known in the industry, the next greatest thing was getting to meet Jack Kirby. In fact, I met him several times, always at his home in Thousand Oaks, California. I've got three major icons in my life. Take a guess who they are. Well, don't guess. They are Captain Kirk, Bruce Lee, and of course, Jack Kirby. With every visit to Jack's home, I learned more about a man who had no peer, not just as an artist, but as a person as well. He was a true old world gentleman and optimist. Imagine this coming from an 18 year old called into service for his country in World War II and coming out with feet so frozen he couldn't feel them anymore. And that was the least of what he went through. In fact, it was life and death every time he turned a corner and had to explore every shelled out building. But he did survive and comics history came to be what it was. I'll tell you what it was like being around Jack. It was like being around your favorite uncle, going to your favorite ice cream shop and getting treated the three scoops of your favorite ice cream. Kirby was there for the entire five decades of making comic books his life's work. He wasn't just the best, he was the most prolific and the most innovative. He channeled an energy that no one else could duplicate. Kirby did things that the other artists working in comic books simply weren't capable of doing. Looking at his art or reading his stories, I often found myself contemplating life's higher purposes. I feel sorry for anyone who didn't grow up seeing a new Jack Kirby comic on the shelves every month. Kirby was the Einstein of our business. He channeled an energy that no one else could duplicate because he didn't think like anyone else, and therefore he didn't create or draw like anyone else. Who is your influence and why? I have mine, you've got yours. This is Steve Root, signing off until next time. Bye-bye.